our topic is the sterilization. Hmm. First of all, we should be know ki what is the sterilization and how the sterilization process is there. Then second one is the what? The second one is the disinfection. Hmm. First of all, we can be start that ki sterilization, S-T-E-R-I, like Z-A-T-I-O-N, sterilization and the disinfection. Okay, so we should be know ki what is the sterilization and what is the disinfection. The sterilization means it is the destruction of the microorganism. Hmm. The sterilization means kona, it is the it is the destruction. It is the destruction of the microorganism. and their spores okay. we can say sterilization means it is the destruction of the microorganism as well as their spores that is called the sterilization then now the concept is that key what is the disinfection hmm. disinfection means it is the free from the microorganism means we can say we can use the chemical we can use the chemical for the purpose of the disinfection to clean the area okay. now the we should be know ki what is the difference be, between the sterilization and the disinfection the the first the first difference between the sterilization and disinfection is that ki in the sterilization process the spore is destroyed but in the disinfection process the spore is present that is the major difference between the sterilization and the disinfection okay. all should be clear then we should be go to the next okay. then we should be know what the sterilization process is there okay. The types of the sterilization, how we should be sterile that things. Okay. We can say the types of the sterilization. Okay. The types of the sterilization. Then the, the, the sterilization is divided into three different types. We can say how the the sterilization is divided into three different types. We can say first is the heat sterilization, then second one is the what? The radiation, then third one is the what? The filtration. All of you know ki first one is the what? The heat. We can use the heat for the purpose of the sterilization that is called the heat sterilization then second one is the what the radiation we can say we can use the gamma rays for the purpose of the sterilization that is called the radiation source of the sterilization then next one is the what the filtration hmm. we can use the filtrate method for the purpose of the sterilization that is called the what that is called the filtration now we can be say the, the heat types of the sterilization it is divided into two different types. What? It is divided into two different types. One is the dry heat, dry heat sterilization. Then second one is the what? The second one is the moist heat sterilization. Moist heat sterilization. Okay, all of you know. Then we should be know ki what is the dry heat sterilization and what is the moist heat sterilization. Okay, dry heat. Dry heat means kona, only we have to use the heat. Only we have to use the heat for the purpose of the sterilization. That is called the what? That is called the dry heat sterilization. Then the second concept is there ki what is the moist heat sterilization. Moist heat sterilization means kona, moist in the moist heat sterilization, we have to use the what to the water. Okay. We have to use the water for the purpose of the sterilization that is called the what? That is called the moist heat sterilization. Now 
what is the difference between dry heat stellation and the moist heat stellation only one difference is there that is called the here the dry heat stellation we cannot use the water but in the moist heat stellation we can use the water all of you clear then we should be goes to the next then the dry heat sterilization it should be divided into four different categories four different category first one is the what first one is the incineration i n c i n e r a t i u n first one is the what the incineration hmm. incineration we can say it is means burning hmm. we have to burn something that is called the what that is called the incineration we have to burn something that is called the in incineration then second concept is there the red heat red heat the red heat it is in types of the dry heat sterilization it is in types of the dry heat sterilization in which only only we have to the pour the things in the what in the we have to pour the things in the uh, in a bunsen boiler is there ठीक है जी of the of the bunsen boiler we we have to use the materials ठीक है जी for the they can be shows like the red in color for example we can say uh, we can take the iron or the rod if we are heated that rod that should be looks like what the red in color that is called the red heat red means red in color we can be use the heat that is called the red heat sterilization then next concept is there the next concept is what the flaming f l a m i n g the flaming now what do you mean by flaming flaming means only the the bunsen burner is there only we have to pass this this materials hello the whatever should be the materials may be that the materials we have to pass that is called the what that is called the flaming then next concept is there the next one is the what the hot air oven hot air oven hmm. means we have to use the hot air hmm. we have to use the hot air for the purpose of the sterilization that is called the hot air oven we can say here the pocket is there thik hai here the shift is there we have to use the hot air if we pass that hot air here thik hai that is called the what if we put the the materials here thik hai then hot air is passed here that process is called what the hot hot air oven then we should be moves for the what the moist heat sterilization hello then the moist heat sterilization we have to use only the water for the purpose of the sterilization that is called the moist heat sterilization then it is divided into different types hmm. it is divided into different types first one is the what first one is the in the moist heat sterilization first one is the what the temperature temperature below below 100 degree celsius thik ha chi to moist heat sterilization what we have to know ki the temperature below 100 degree celsius then ho ji kon temperature at 100 degree celsius then ho ji kon temperature above the 100 degree celsius Hmm. first one is the temperature below the 100 degree celsius the the concept is there ki water bath water bath it is a types of the sterilization in who is we have to use the below the 100 degree celsius temperature for the purpose of the sterilization that is called the water bath then all of you use the milk all of you use you also use i also use thik ha chi all of you use the milk do you know ki milk is milk is sterilized by the whisk method all of you see the posterior part of the milk bucket we can say that that process is called the pasteurization then pasteurization and the water bath 
are the two types of the sterilization we can use the below 100 degree celsius then now the concept is that ki the temperature 800 degree celsius hmm. in the temperature 800 degree celsius we can use the which method that is called the boiling hmm. all of you know the boiling method boiling means called what boiling means we have to boil the water should be boiled at the temperature of what the 100 degree celsius that is called the boiling then next one is the what the temperature at above 100 degree celsius the temperature at 100 degree above the 100 degree celsius now the concept is there ki autoclave 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 we can say what the autoclave c l a v e thik achi autoclave it's in it's in process of the sterilization it it is most commonly used we can say it is the most common method of the sterilization that should be used for the purpose of the what autoclave that should be used for the sterilization purpose in the autoclave there is in three concept is there autoclave here we can draw the diagram of the autoclave thik achi here the pressure regulator is there thik achi thik achi hala the three things is there in the autoclave first one is the what the temperature temperature is what 121 degree celsius thik achi temperature at 121 degree celsius then what the the pressure pressure is what the 15 pound pressure we can use the 15 pound pressure for the purpose of the sterilization thik achi then ho chi kono the time time should be what 15 to 20 minute thik achi the in the process of the autoclave we can be use the three things one is the temperature temperature is what the 121 degree celsius then second one is the what the pressure pressure should be 15 pound pressure then the time the time should be 15 to 20 minute we can use for the purpose of the sterilization all of you concept all of you clear regarding the sterilization hmm. yes or no yes tickets all that is the all about the sterilization the next class we have to discuss the what is the radiation and what is the filtration thank you